Our next topic is an art education is more useful than an education in science. Please welcome Prime Minister Margie for two minutes. Okay, so on a dare, here's how I'm defining the motion. An art education is a fine arts education. And an education in science is an education in the natural sciences. So fine arts, music, painting, that sort of thing. So, uh, and useful, we're gonna go with the standard able to be used for a practical purpose. So, let's start with how that time when, when somebody came up to me and said, Margie, I'm getting married. Could you perform a Fourier transfer at my wedding? Okay, yeah, that was never. <laughs> um, I didn't know you then. It's, uh, it's yeah, uh, in terms of everyday life, science is not, you know, I mean, I can do triple integrals, but nobody's ever asked me to do one at a party. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> So, but if you're, if you're a trained musician, if you're a trained painter, if you're a trained actor, that is useful in everyday life. People like that. It's a great, it's a great thing at parties. It's a great way to give gifts. It's, it's, and it's not just what you can give other people and share. It's useful to you. I mean, you know, in the Dead Poets Society, sure, you can be an engineer or a doctor or whatever, but what are you living for? You're living for the human experience, and that's experienced through the arts. So if you want to be able to go to a museum and have a real experience, a fine arts museum, or go to a play by Shakespeare, your education in art is going to be much more a part of your well-rounded life than your education in science. We call people who live science in 24 hours nerds and there might be a reason for that so i'm going to say that in terms of useful to you useful to society useful to friends and families and art education outweighs science every time thank you margie let's welcome the leader of the opposition david for three minutes thank you no fun to get that thing going very good <coughs> well the prime minister said that <coughs> You can go to a party and act a role, you can perhaps play a piece on the piano or something like that, but <clears throat> can we switch the analogy around? What happens if you go down to uh, uh, a computer institute in California looking for a job and you go into a dissertation about some sculptures that you've seen in Florence? Doesn't heck, it'll turn both ways. So, science, a basic degree in science, it, it can lead to other le levels of other areas of, uh, of uh, study. They can take you into medicine, engineering, computer science, research and development. So in terms of the usefulness, it's much more wide open. It gives you much ma many more options in life than simply a, uh, a degree in fine arts. The thing is, if you had to make a choice between the two, science is the better bet because the arts can be picked up on your own. You can always read, you can always uh, join an amateur theater group, you can always uh, join a choir, you can participate in these things. But if you go totally the arts route, you don't have much of a chance of picking up science because science requires training, it requires education. You can, for example, <coughs> seriously study cosmology without knowing something about mathematics. You can study <coughs> medicine or anything else without knowing something about the basic laws of science, the structures of cells and so forth, the, the basic rules of the laws of physics, of Newton's laws and so forth. So if you have that basic training, arts as a kind of an avocation can be picked up on your own. <coughs> And also, science can lead you into a wonderful sense of the mystery and wonder of life. If you have a basic grounding in science, you are able to appreciate the, the immensity of the cosmos, the, uh, the infinity of mathematics, the, uh, the wonder of the human body, the evolution of species, and so forth. Look at the great debates of our time, scientific-based. Thank you very much. Oh, I'm sorry. Say it again. Yeah. 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 yeah.
<laughs> yeah. the, the, the great debates of our time now, for example, creationism versus evolution, so you've got Dawkins and Hitchens and so forth. That's the kind of thing that's consuming the public mind. Uh, in the case of the, uh, the legal and ethical sides of uh, modern methods to parenthood and so forth, the legal battles over the human genome, these are all scientifically based. This is about rages in the papers. One never sees, for example, a debate over the meaning of Michelangelo's David or the Mona Lisa or anything like that. Sure, you read about it in obscure journals, but try bringing that stuff up at a party. You'd have a better chance talking about the immensity of the cosmos. Thank you, David. I'd like to welcome the Prime Minister, Margie, for another minute. Okay, so the opposition brought up some interesting things. Uh, science is really good for your career. Really, really good for your career. So career-wise, science, it can be useful for your career. I'm saying art is useful generally. And that is something that, and he even said in the amateur, in, in, in your, everybody likes to have some art in their life. Science, some people are amateur astronomers. They didn't necessarily become scientists to do that. It's something they do as a hobby. Sure, it can happen. Still not quite as useful as being able to play the piano. Trust me. So, um, and then when it comes to things like, we have great debates about science, nobody understands. <laughs> The, it, it, if you're a creationist, and I totally oppose creationism, it really doesn't impact your life all that hugely. But you want to know what a big debate was? The Da Vinci Code and Michelangelo, and was that really a girl he painted at the Last Supper? Those are the things that stir the soul. So I'm telling you, it's all about the arts. Thank you, Margie. Show of hands, support for the motion. <laughs> Seven against? Ten. Very close. Nerds. Nerds. <laughs> All of you. Motion is defeated. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Very close.